we are up to monster mashup number eight. Let's do this. Let's get monster animal mashup number eight. Rolling. First bag. Oh, we've got the Tazzy Devil. Oh, ho, ho, interesting. All right, second bag. <laughs> it's chicken. <laughs> Oh my god, once again, another winged creature right there. Alright, okay. So what mythical element is this creature going to have? Dragon. <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> this is gonna be one crazy ass animal. That's kind of unfortunate because a chicken's got wings and a dragon's got wings. Oh, poo! Yeah, I nearly want to redraw that, but I'm not going to because that's not the rules. All right, what is this going to be? Is this going to be cute or is it going to be a monster? I don't really know what I want here because I'm still thrown by that combination. I can't think. <sighs> oh, come on, open it. <laughs> I got another monster tag. Oh wow. So that right there. That's gonna be interesting. Really, really interesting. This this one's going to be pretty hard, I reckon. This one's we'll have to see, we'll have to see because some of the ones I think that are easy are not, and then some of the ones that I think are gonna be hard are not. So wow. Okay, so here's the prompts. So you have a Tasmanian devil as the main animal mixed with a chicken that is a main animal. Then there's going to be elements of a dragon in there. And you gotta make it a monster. <laughs> so there is a hard set of prompts for you right there. So you know what the next step is to do let's get designing sorry there's no sketch process for this one because this one was so hard that it took me a couple of weeks to work out how I was going to do this prompt and there was quite a few disasters that I had done first uh, sketch wise not actual drawing it um, like onto the final um, page but yeah it it's this this one really did stump me and this is the first one out of all of them that has stumped me that bad that it took me a couple of weeks to film the drawing process and the painting process um yeah i i don't know i really did struggle with this this one i just didn't know where i was going to put all the elements and then getting the dragon the dragon uh, element tag drawn out of the bag completely threw me so I had two creatures that had wings and I didn't know how to deal with that because I really would have liked to have done the dragon wings instead of chicken wings but I went with chicken wings because I haven't really drawn well I've never drawn chicken wings before so I just wanted to do something different instead of just defaulting to dragon wings as probably a lot of people might do. 
and I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to do feathery chicken wings. <laughs> So that's why I uh, that's that's why I did it that way, and I ended up doing a the body of the Tasmanian Devil. And if you don't know what a Tasmanian Devil is, I will have a picture on the screen, just in case, because they are only found in Tasmania here in Australia. I incorporated the the body of the Tasmanian Devil. And mushed it together with the chicken. So I've got a Tasmanian devil head with the beak of a chicken and also I included that little red flap that sort of hangs down from the chicken's face. I wanted to add that in there you know just for something weird and wonderful and then I wanted to add the wings of a chicken instead of the dragon and I experiment a little bit with some patterns on the wings I do the circles in white and then realize that I did not like that because I was trying to get the effect from a black and white speckly chicken because the Tasmanian Devil is black so I wanted to sort of keep that same color theme throughout the whole picture and I didn't I didn't like the circles so I take a different approach with the markings on the wings and I do like them but I do notice that when you do look up close to the markings that I do put on the wings eventually they look hideous you've got to really look at it from afar <laughs> so yeah it's it's not the most prettiest thing but it gets across where I was going with the chicken wings and it gives that pattern illusion that I I wanted to there is actually a few ways I wish I would have gone with the wing pattern but you know I thought of that afterwards and there's not much I can do when I've already done it. I can paint over it but I don't want to spend that much time on it I, I am I am happy to be honest with you I am happy with the end result of this one So uh, the creature has a chicken leg and a dragon tail and that's basically all of the elements. Um, I am fully aware that the top part of the wings on both wings are different. There is more lighter feathers, the, that top part light feather area on the left wing has a lot more feathers fully aware of that but let's just pretend that what do you call it wing <laughs> is up in an angle that exposes more of the feathers so we'll we will just you know we'll go with that we'll run with that <laughs> um yeah so i sort of screwed up a little bit there when i was doing the wings i wasn't paying attention that's what happened i wasn't paying attention to how many feathers that i was actually doing on that top lighter part of the wing so that's my fault uh, my inattention is that a word i think it is anyway so this creature is stalking humans it likes to climb up in the middle of town and climb up buildings and if it sees something crawling up a building it will just go up and crawl up the building and kill it and eat it and this particular creature likes to prey on the humans so if you're walking down a dark alley look up because this thing could be hanging from the side of a building waiting to do a drop bear on you so it drops down from the building and drops down onto the person and that's how it kills its prey <laughs> so yeah a bit dark but um yeah this that, that's what this creature does and uh that's how it survives it feeds off of humans it's a it's a a human eater i i i didn't know how i was gonna do a brick wall and then i just thought well i'll just do a, i'll just start painting some brick looking shapes and with different colors and it worked so I ran with that and 
I don't mind the brick wall. I think uh, I've, never, I've never really, I haven't done a huge amount of brick walls. Um, so yeah, this, this was fun. It was fun to do a brick wall. And I got a little bit too excited with the blood stage. I wasn't supposed to do it at this stage. It was too soon. So then I had to like work around the blood and yeah, I wasn't I wasn't happy after I done it I realized I went oh I had to, I have to do so much more to this piece before I had to put the blood on so that was a face palm moment <laughs> So I do the little markings on the wings and I started off doing a different pattern and then I changed to an, another pattern and yeah like I said up close it does not look good and like that part of the wing don't stare at it <laughs> because it looks a little bit atrocious but as like a whole if you look at the picture as a whole and you don't focus on those wings, I think it works. I, I, I do believe that that looks okay. <laughs> it's passable in my books. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I did there. And I went over the fur with uh, a very fine pig micron to sort of just add some texture and add some 3D-ness to the piece and um yeah it's sort of uh, the white gel pen and the white posca pen really did pull this piece together i'm s like i've said before i'm so happy for white gel pens and white pens out there i don't know what i would do i'd have to work extra hard to make a piece look good <laughs> because oh, i just feel as though sometimes like sometimes it doesn't always work out for me but just white gel pens and white posca pens just anything white just really uh it just really helps the piece along that's my uh that is my monster mashup number eight so uh yeah, let me know if any of you guys do this prompt, how easy you found it. Uh, I didn't find it very easy at all. So um, if if you guys end up doing any of these illustrations, I will share them. I will share them on the next video. So yeah, see you guys in the next one and thank you for watching. Bye.